still hate the level. <laughs> So we're, we're in space now. And crap, apparently there's oxygen in the atmosphere. I guess I, uh... So I... I'm... <clears throat> I don't remember this level... The level layout in this stage too well, so... I'm... <coughs> some, something got stuck in my throat for some reason. Uh, but... I might just end up flailing, flailing around a lot here because I don't remember where all the boxes are. Probably can breathe in space, apparently. Yep, so can Tiny. But yeah, this is the last time we're gonna see the atmosphere, so. Until entranced. Well, yeah, until we're entranced, entranced, I guess. Which I, I, I need to, I need to. Find, uh, find time to play through that actually because uh, I enjoyed huge adventure and from what I've seen of entrance it does look in it does look uh, pretty good have you played it's a it? level like just a labyrinth kind of yeah it's kind of like a labyrinth yeah but uh, have you played uh, entrance at all dang it in both okay did you Only 86 boxes? That's like a, a fair verse record. <laughs> yeah. Uh, have you completed Entrance or you just? I would never beat either. I, I like I borrowed it, borrowed both games either from family or a friend. Okay. I don't remember. <laughs> okay, this is secret. Oh, okay, I, okay. So th this is a the. See, this level also has a secret gem in it. Okay, I forgot. Just be careful. So how far did you, well, how far did you uh, get in Entranced? Particularly far. Mm. Just played a friend's copy and he got through most of the game. Okay. Just played the levels that he had. Alright. How's the music? Uh, this is the the level theme in this stage is literally the credits theme. It's it's the exact same song. So take that for what you will. Every uh, every crash game pretty much does that. Like just uses a general level theme for a credit theme. Hmm. That's true, I guess. Yeah. So Crash 3 uses the Cortex boss theme. I learned the phrase that like every, every, at least the first four mainline Crash games reuse a, for a, for a bot for a credit, for the credit theme. Yeah. Like, that isn't really a unique credits theme. Or maybe, maybe to Insanity. Uh, actually, I'm not, I'm not sure. I, it might, I, to Insanity it might just be a medley. I'm not sure. I, I'd have to look back on that. Uh, what about the Titans games? Because I don't remember those at all. I read just uses the title theme for its credits. Okay. Alright, cool. I <laughs> the Titans credits theme was actually. I don't, yeah, I don't remember. Even like even Crash Team Racing's credit team isn't technically unique to its to the credits. Mm. Um, used for like a few missions in a story mode and. Then... Like CTR's credit team. 
tired, folks. <laughs> <laughs> We're so close. This is like our longest session we've done. Longest session isn't like a stream on Twitch. Yeah, like pro maybe not even like the longest session we've done in for Crash Four. Probably the longest longest session we've done. Period. At least off of recent memory. We may like we may have had like one. Oh, the two sessions were this long. I d that's been so long. I don't remember how long we en ended up recording uh, for those. My gosh, I just wanted time to remake that game, so you have to play it again. <laughs> just for the sake of me wanting, like, having to do it again. Uh. Okay. Now, in hindsight, maybe. I said, maybe you should like, like, like start a time trial just so you don't, just so you can restart the level without losing lives. Mm, the thing with that is that I, I don't know if that will like, if we'll be able to get all the boxes. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know if it will count properly. Yeah, this is quite a marathon this stage, so... The best advice I can give you is just follow the one for as best you can. Ooh. Yeah, this, this gets my vote as worst stage in the game, easily. Okay, that was close. Get it? Okay. We can add invincibility on a snowboard. Okay, I think that was just a nitro. I'm not sure. I'm it, gonna... was, it was a nitro. Okay, good. Right. Okay. That's enough looking at this for some reason. <laughs> I'm just trying to focus. I can't. I'm not even gonna bother like saying much. Okay, I honestly, I I can't tell. Ah. Oh. I can't tell which one's Aku Aku and which one's just Nitro. Ah. Hate the coloring. Oh, there's another, there's another thing. If you, if you're on a time trial, I don't think the secret gem is there. We don't, we already got the secret gem, didn't we? No, no, I just, I, I just saw the gem. We didn't get either gem thing. Yep, no, we didn't. We, re we only got the relic in, in this. Hmm. I'm gonna be completely honest. I I would honestly rather play uh the 
worst level equivalents in Crash 2 or 3, like Cold War Crash and Future Frenzy, all boxes over this because at least in those those levels cases, like it's you're still doing platforming challenges and stuff. And technically you are here, but it's so much trial and error and it's just not fun. From what you're you're seeing, would you rather play this or those levels? Or crash. Got with the secret with the hidden crate removed. <laughs> yeah, I can understand that. Oof. This one. Oh, okay. Alright. Those are just nitros. There it is. Oh, that... Why you gotta make that... It obstruct my view. No! Oh, dang it! No, no, it's, okay. no, it's, it's, a, it's a, it was above a nitro crate. It should detonate it anyways. I hope, I hope so. Please. Oh, okay, thank you. Oh, okay. That could have gone a lot worse. If this was, cr uh, like, OG... Crash 2 or 3, that it probably wouldn't destroy that box. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Okay. We're pretty much done with the game. We just need to fight Crunch or Cortex, I guess, again. It's Crunch, not Cortex. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> I guess so, uh, yeah. Oh. That's relieving. And we end with 106%. Let, let's just ch check our stats one last time. Got the towers, 6 instead of 5. Oops, didn't mean to do that. All the gems. It's kind of funny how after Crash 1, they always just had 5 colored gems instead of 6. And... He got 14 sapphires, but I don't care. <laughs> But, um, uh, what was it, uh, no, I, I don't, I don't really understand why they cut one color gem after Crash 1, because that would leave opportunities for even more secret paths, and, uh, like, Do you really want another nonsensical hidden gem in Crash 2? I don't know, uh, well, I, I kind of like the secret gems in Crash 2. And I think Crash 3 could have benefited from more, from more uh, secret gems, honestly. Yeah, I'm sure there's a reason to explain the line, the real ending, but why is Crunch hitting Cortex when he gets hit? I get... Well, I mean, Aku as you can see, like, Akiraku's, um, doing something. So I guess... He just, like, makes it so he temporarily loses, uh, Cortex temporarily loses control of Crunch, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Gosh, this one gets crazy. What do you what do you think about this fight? It's all right. Just... Oh, 
By crash standards, I think it's uh, decent. Oh. No! Okay! Oh man. Oh well, okay. It's definitely. I definitely ranked this above Crash 2's final boss. Dang it. If you can even call that a boss. Wonder what? Really hmm? Still better than Spyro One's final boss fight. That's true. Um, but um, where's that? Okay. Oh, dang it! Missed. The bazooka just suck more in this game than it did in Warped. Yeah, it kinda does. It, it doesn't control nearly as well. A lot of things are just worse. Do you want to take some aggression out on Cortex? <laughs> I, w I wonder what an actual, like, one-on-one -on -one fight with Crunch would be like without, like, any elemental powers. He'd finally use that metal arm of his. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can imagine it would be like, uh, have him, like, whirl around and try to hit you for a while and then wait for him to get tired or something like that. Or make him, like, I don't know. So we don't know, really know the full extent Crunch's natural ability? No, not really. He doesn't really do much after this game. He's there for Crash's birthday party, that's the most important thing. Ugh! <laughs> uh. No, 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 don't want to be in this when stuff's going on. Alright. Alright, we should be done. Oops. Spin them, spin them around. Okay, cool, we're done. The game's, the game's complete. Spin me round, right, round, right, round. <laughs> over. It's finally over. 16 plus year. I will reel this game comes to a close. <laughs> ever let me win. Just crash in the background. <laughs> that annoying scientist doesn't have control over me anymore. Where is that pathetic twerp? There's no time for that now, Crunch. Danger. Critical power. Yeah, Crunch had some kind of mind control going on. Run for your lives. I think your energy bow caused a slight chain reaction. I guess it that makes sense. That's what Cortex wanted to do the crash. Yeah. If you hadn't ducked out of the way, none of the Yeah, Crunch is basically what Crash was supposed to be. <laughs> it's like some force field kind of surrounding the station. That's kind of a, a sudden, um, like, jump cut, I guess, for like a better term. Like, they just... <laughs> like, they, they just fly back to Earth and then suddenly they're home. <laughs> it's like, there's no, there's like no real transition. Welcome Crunch to our home. We have a dog, we don't know where he is. Yeah. Oh, no, wait! I can explain! 
Oh, what happened to Baby T now that I think about it? Because, uh, you could see, like, Baby T uh, in the background at the end of Crash 3, I believe. He just van vanished. He was left behind in his own time. <laughs> But yeah, the Ukuruka and Cortex are stuck in the Antarctic. Um, and it ties in, that leads into, into insanity. Pretty much, I I do like that. I I do like that about this. Uh, a lot of them, like up to, uh, to insanity, where they try to tie the games in together. Um, I think that's pretty cool. Well, there's no real gap uh, between three and four, like. Crash 4 just kind of starts, more or less, but, yeah, whatever. Um, I basically, there's nothing new I can say about this game that I haven't already said, because, like I've been saying, it's basically Crash 3 but worse, but I think it's at least, I think you should give it at least one, one playthrough if you're, like, a, a big Crash fan, because, um, again, I think if you just, if you just go for the crystals, um, I think it's a generally decent time. It's not amazing, but it's fun enough. Um, some... I do like some of the optional paths. Like, some of the death routes are legitimately challenging and not bullcrap. But there are a lot of them that are just stupidly designed. Like, the minecart uh, uh, pathway that just had a bunch of nitros and stuff. And... Again, the difficulty in this game is just really inconsistent, and it's... With all the vehicles, and, like, the, the bad... Like, basically all the bad vehicles and the annoying things the game puts you through, it ends up being hard to justify, like, wanting to 100% the game, because a lot of it is just more of a chore than fun. Especially in, like, certain levels cases, like the water levels, Force of Nature, uh, the, uh, racing level in the, in the little, um, the, the, the truck or whatever it is, um, and just other, st oh, that's a, that's a really short credit sequence, um, and other stuff like that, um, and I, I don't know, like, th this game is just, it's fun enough, but it's just, it, it never really reaches the highs of the of the end of the um Na Naughty Dog trilogy, so eh, you're not really missing that much if you do skip this one and just go right to Twin Sanity. But if you're curious, I would I would recommend just just trying to get to Cortex um, and only 100% the game if you're if you if you really want to. Otherwise, just, I wouldn't bother, honestly, but, yeah, the, ga the game's, oh, the, the game's about around average, um, and, yeah, it's not really Same anything again. to write, yeah, I should probably do that, it's not anything to really write home about, but, it's not terrible either, it's just kind of, it's, it's just a game that's kind of there, take it or leave it, really. <laughs> Most, it was for the most part the best game that could have come out in the in under those conditions that it had to be. That's true. And once again, screw Universal Interactive Studios; they are the devil. Yeah, th th this game is one of those things where, like, given more time, this this could have potentially been a worthy successor to Crash Free, but for what the, the product we got is. Uh, <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just enjoying these uh, uh, idle animations. Uh, the the game's not bad, but it ain't great. But yeah, it is what it is. It could have been a lot worse. Yeah, still, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, keep that in mind when we play through the Dragonfly Harry. I was just gonna mention that. Yeah. <laughs> but um, to, to credit where it's due. Um. I, I do like the idea of, um, he took that out of his ear, what the hell. Um, credit where it's due, I like the idea of, like, having Crunch be the one boss throughout the whole game, and ha him having different powers each time. Um, I like that every level is a unique music track, and, uh, they, 
not necessarily always a unique level theme, but most of them are. Um, and, you know, I, I like that. Uh, trying to make every level stand out. Um, I like the idea of Coco being a platforming uh, character now, even if she is just Crash but worse. Um, that's basically all I can think of that's all in my head. You got anything else? Um, well, I think I covered most of my thoughts and history of this game. Um, probably too much. I was probably too hard on it as a kid, and in some respects not hard enough, because some of this level design is crazy. <laughs> um, again, Travis Tales probably abused Nitro Crates a little too much. Yeah. It's a game rushed in its shows in a lot of respects. Yeah. I like Crunch, though. I like I actually do. I have one of those. I actually do like Crunch and wish that he had probably been used more effectively in the other games that followed. Yeah, I think uh, the Titans games is where I start to really enjoy Crunch as a character. Because he's only really in Twin Sanity for like five seconds as like a gag. And then he just doesn't show up anymore. Like, um, it is a kind of interesting. He, you know, then a Crunch and Nina, who is technically also a Traveler's Tales character. Yeah. That character is just I used it early. They are pretty much the only like recurring moments that stuck around. I really hope uh, when we get a new game, we get Crunch and Nina back because I would hate for them to just be gone. Because I really like those characters. I'm, uh, I'm hoping, but I, I'm not crossing my fingers, unfortunately. Well, we'll I am crossing see. My fingers. I'm not holding my breath though. Yeah, we'll see what happens. It really depends on what they decide to do after Crash Team Racing, because I, because uh, th that game's being developed by Beanox Studios, I think, which probably means Vicarious Visions are working on a platformer or something. So hopefully, mm, hopefully we see those characters again. Uh, we'll see though. But you got anything else? Because I'm basically done. that deserved better. Yeah. Developer that deserved better than Universal. <laughs> yeah, I because I like I like Traveler's Tales as as a developer. They do a lot of good stuff. Um, they made they made good platforms before this and after this. Yeah, I believe they made the Toy Story two game, didn't they? Made, yeah, they made Toy Story one and two. I never played the uh, Toy Story one, but I played two as a kid and really enjoyed that. I actually got a, a Zook star back when he was making videos on a regular. Had a, but it's pretty good. I should uh, try and get like a, a new copy of a, a Toy Story two and uh, play through that sometime. Let's play through all the Toy Story games before Toy Story four comes out. That'll be our thing. <laughs> well, I'd have to buy all of them then. Sacrifice I'm willing to make, Harry. <laughs> If I can find them for relatively cheap, I guess. Uh, but, you know, in terms of Crash 4, though, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, and we'll, in terms of Crash stuff, we'll probably see you next time for Twin Sanity. I had no idea when we're going to do that. Um, going to have to get through some other things first. Um, because I think the next thing we're doing is going to be Super Mario Sunshine, unless... Uh, Sonicar first. Oh right, Sonicar. Uh, yeah, so we're doing Sonicar and then we're going to Mario Sunshine, unless said otherwise. Um, and, uh, yeah. Remember, just remember that uh, we, we've we said that this could have been a lot worse when we do Enter the Dragonfly, because that that's basically... It can always get worse. Because <laughs> uh, Enter the Dragonfly is basically, like, the worst, one of the worst sequels you could ask for from like a beloved trilogy. So, um, say it with me, children. Universal Interactive sucks. Yeah, we'll have a lot to say about that when we do Spyro 4. So, until then, uh, again, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys later. Goodbye. Have a good night, everyone.